through Turkey to these rebels because they wanted to stage an attack against the rebels that would enrage everybody. So they, they, the U.S. shipped gas over there, had them fighting the rebels, and the rebels fighting the false force, and framing wow. Assad. Okay, I got it. So let's bring it up to today. Is Assad as bad as ISIS, worse, or is he actually not as bad as we think? Ask that again, please. Is Assad, who is being made into the Hitler of our time by Obama, is he as bad as ISIS or worse than ISIS? Which side should we be on? He's not as bad as our government and our media is making him out to be, but he wouldn't play ball with us, and so we're framing him just like we framed all the rest. When we took out Noriega and Panama, I mean, you go through the whole history, and these are dictators and things that the U.S. has put into place, and when they start stepping out of line, then we had to go in and remove them. And so Assad, Assad was duly elected. He, he, he won a majority vote. But then all the, the meddling that the U.S. has done over there has so discredited him that the whole world's turning against him. And Russia knows better, which is why they're over there now defending him. But the point, one of the points I want to make is when Chris Stevens found out about uh, these weapons of mass destruction, the gas that was being smuggled in there, and the CIA's uh, involvement, he threatened to expose it. And he was... Wait, you're, you're saying that with the ambassador to Libya in Benghazi who was found be was beaten to death by a mob, you're saying they unleashed the mob on him because he was going to expose the United States' double dealing in, in all of this? Yep. And Chris Stevens and his assistant, um, I'm in my car right now, I know, Sean Smith, I think it was, were the only two in the consulate that were killed. And then the CIA outpost that was a few blocks away, they blocked any aid coming to the consulate. Uh, Chris Stevens and his aide were locked in a quote-unquote safe room by one of the consulate employees where they were, they, they were, well, one of them died, one of them was unconscious from smoke inhalation. And then the two SEALs that were trying to uh, defend the CIA outposts that were killed, they were killed because the CIA was not supposed to be taking action. They were supposed to be lying down and let Chris Stevens uh, be taken out. Do you think that any of this is in, in Hillary's emails? If they can find all the emails, they will. But, you know, Jason Chaffetz and Mike Lee are neighbors of mine in Utah. When Jason was on the first committee uh, investigating Benghazi, I told him about this. He started investigating Hillary, and he and his family were threatened to stop the investigation or they would pay for it. But who threatened them? Hillary's people. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so let, let, for the average listener out there, I'm following every every beat of your heart. Where does that leave us with regard to the average person who's watching this go on? Is Russia is Russia our natural ally in the fight against radical Islam? I think so. I think that's a very strong possibility. No, but we know that's not the end game of Putin. I mean, you're a man who knows the inside of all of it. We know Putin's an ex-KGB uh, head. And we know that he wants to expand Russia's power. That's a given. Uh, but isn't it true also that his ally now, Iran, wants to kill ISIS because ISIS is Sunni and they're Shia? Isn't that on a basic level true? Well, it's like I said, another Arab is much higher than the infidels. Even though, you know, Putin can go in there offering all the help he wants, but he's still an infidel. So when it comes down to either Shiite or Sunni choosing another Arab, over the infidels, they'll choose the other Arab. So you're you're actually stating that after the Iranians come into Syria, they're liable to join with the uh, the with ISIS and attack the Russians. I don't know if they would go that far at this point because Putin has built up such an incredible military while we've been diminishing ours. You know, Obama Obama is anti-Christian, anti-Semitic, anti-Israel, anti-free market, anti-Constitution. Nothing he has done is to build up or for the betterment of America. While he's been deteriorating our military, Putin has been building his up with at 
light speed. You know, there's a reason that all the BRICS countries have have denounced the U.S. dollar as reserve currency. China no longer recognizes it as reserve currency. Neither is Russia. Neither is Australia. Neither is India. Neither does uh, most of the world powers. And so, as we as we lose our standing as a reserve currency, there's going to be huge economic repercussions. Well, look, Bert. Everything you have said is not news to me with regard to the current with regard to. Uh, Obama. I know what he wants to do. You know it. I know it. Every intelligent human being knows what he is. How does he get away with it? I have no idea. I know he's a puppet. I know there's much bigger forces that are pulling his strings. I don't know if they're so deeply connected that they can they can defend him. But he has committed several acts of treason. I don't understand why the FBI isn't going in there with the Department of Justice and arresting him and pulling him out of the, the White House. Yeah, he, he, is, he, he has made a joke of the Constitution. He's made a joke of America. He's weakened our position. He's alienated all our allies. He's sucking up to the, to, to the Cubans and to Iran. I mean, how blind is the American public that they cannot see that he is selling us down the river and if we don't do it about face damn quick <laughs> well bird i can see why you're a regular listener to my program uh, but you're preaching not to the choir but to the preacher of the choir <laughs> you're preaching to the preacher of the choir i can only say you've elucidated the the uh, dollar connection the gold standard and all that that's something new but the truth is the gas thing is something new that the fake army that uh, the you say the cia set up to make it look bad for us, make Assad look bad. I didn't know about that, although I've heard hints of that uh, on various and sundry websites. I'm going to send you uh, something I know you're going to want to read. It's called Government Zero, a lot of which you will think is baby talk, but some of which you may not think is baby talk. You've really done your homework, Bert. Are there any concluding observations you'd like to leave us with? I want the world to know that Chris Stevens was assassinated by U.S. trained forces, and Hillary and the CIA were behind it. Well, I wish you luck in your in your hiding place uh, somewhere deep in the heartland of America. You must uh, lead a very uh, proscribed uh, life, I would think. I am sick and tired of this, and it may get me killed, but I am not going to stand for it anymore. Wow. Start exposing these Well, people. Bert, I'll tell you what. I would send you a book, but I'm not going to have you give out your email address or anything. I don't think you're going to want to do it. I thank you very much for calling the program. That uh, leads us to a new time on the Savage Nation, obviously, which is 45 minutes after the hour. We're still waiting to find out the uh, the religious orientation of the shooter in Oregon. Because allegedly, or not allegedly, there are reports from eyewitnesses that after shooting a teacher in the head, attention liberals, attention, attention multicultural fools, he told the students to state their religion and then he started killing them. Leads you to ask what his religion is, doesn't it? I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. The enemy within, the enemy within, the enemy within. There is no president anymore. Where is he? Russia is bombing in Syria two days in a row, and this clown has nothing to say except gun control talking points about the shooting in Oregon. And speaking about the shooting in Oregon, everyone listening to the show heard the story. The shooter shot the teacher in the head, and then he asked all the students, told them, get on the ground, and then he said, state your religion, and he started executing them. 20 injured, at least 20 injured, 7 to 10 dead, all because it's a gun-free zone. All because of the nanny state that runs this campus. You know and I know in northern the northwest there are guys who know how to use guns and women who know, know how to use guns. If they were carrying a weapon in their pocket, they wouldn't have died like sheeple on the floor. No, the opposite is true. Not a gun-free zone. We need the right to carry. That's what you need. At least you'd have a shooting chance whether you're in a church, a synagogue, or a schoolroom. 
Right now, you're a sitting duck for any jihadi or lunatic who wants to mow you down like a piece of grass. End of story. Land of the free and the home of the brave. Whatever happened to that? Yeah, land of the free and the home of the brave. I changed that one a long time ago. The land of the freak is what it's become. The land of the freak and the home of the bray. Like donkeys. KSFO, Daniel Fireway, you're on the Savage Nation. What's your topic? Yeah, along that line, every time we have one of these shootings and one of Obama's goals is to disarm America, the American public. The only thing in since World War II, the only thing that is that has frightened uh, any foreign nation about invading us is we have an armed population. And every that is correct. That's a thousand percent right. And by the way, the same president, the lying thief coward, who has nothing to say about the embarrassment of Putin bombing in Syria, is going to give a speech any minute about the college shooting. Isn't that interesting and convenient, Daniel? Exactly. And he jumps on it. He wants to do There you go. There he is, the invisible man, the thin man, comes out from behind the curtain, and he's going to talk about the Oregon shooting and say nothing about his embarrassment in Syria, how he got that all wrong. Now, if he got that all wrong, what does he know about the Oregon shooting that we don't know? Isn't it convenient? I'm not saying, or shall I say just saying, let's use uh, modern parlance, just saying, isn't it convenient that there was a shooting the day after the thin man was exposed for who he is uh, with, the, uh, with the Russian bombing? Just saying. Not getting into conspiracy theory that whoever did the shooting was sort of a, let's say, a cyborg controlled by someone in a back room and released to do the shooting so that the thin one could come out and give a speech against guns. Just saying, not saying, just saying, not saying, just saying, not saying, not saying, just saying. KSFO, Harry, go ahead. You've got 30 seconds. Fire away. Yeah, Michael, I think that Syria's been getting a bum rap for a long time. I mean, it's the it's a dirty shirt, but it's the least dirty shirt in the hamper. You have to remember, you know, under Hafez Assad and his son, his son, this present guy, the Syrians were, uh, I mean, Christians were safe in Syria. They had all these ethnic groups living there. It was like a fruit salad. They really had to see these Druze. I know that. The Jews were safe, and yet the Jewish community has this one wrong again. Again, like Stooges, they're up there for Obama, bombing, bombing uh, Assad, getting him out of the way. Again, the Jewish community is run by morons. See, Michael, I mean, it's, uh, it's incomprehensible. I understand that Assad is a dirty shirt, but the best of the bunch in the laundry cart. I understand that ethnic minorities like Christians and Jews are protected by Assad. Does, does, does that explain why Obama wants him gone? Thank you. Just saying. That kind of explains why Obama wants him gone. Because he did protect the Christians and Jews. Just saying. Yeah, well, you get the picture, don't you? I'm sure we'll find out who the shooter was eventually once they burn the... Uh, well, the FBI went in and we'll find out who the shooter was as much as we found out who stole the Solyndra money and who runs the ambulance companies. I guarantee they'll do plastic surgery on him before we even find out. It's the Savage Nation. I'd say be here or be nowhere, but I can't.